Hello YouTubes, this is Grimweird coming back at you with more Enigmatica 2 Expert Mod Pack playthrough action for Minecraft 1.12.2. As always, we are joined by our lovely avatar, Zombie Steve, uh, who is currently invisible. There we go. Um, so yeah, when we left last time, we were just trying to get into uh, Blood Magic and figure that whole thing out. We had made a Tartaric Gym, a petty one. Um, and made a sentient sword and whacked a few things in the dark. Um, what I ended up doing was I went over to my mom farm down yonder and um, I turned on my wither skeleton powered spawner uh, which has a really fast capacitor in it from a loot chest. Um, one of those things that should not be or some kind of specialty uh, capacitor on it. And it just spews wither skeletons, and I just whooped it for five or ten minutes, um, and filled up the lesser one, and then made a, or filled up the petty one, and then made a lesser one, and then made another lesser one, and made another petty one, and etc. etc. Um, and uh, so we now have plenty of demonic will. Um, I also banged out just a couple other things real quick. Um, so we made the second level of this and filled it up. Um, I made a sacrificial dagger and a blood altar. So the blood altar was relatively simple. It's just a one block thing. Same with the sacrificial dagger. It's uh, you know, just a soul scribe, which we had all the stuff for, and some alchemical brass and some mana glass. That's all stuff that uh, where we are at in Batania and Thumbcraft is all easy to do. And then this is the uh, recipe for the tier one or tier zero or whatever it is, the initial blood altar. Um, so I did have to turn off or, you know, put my Tartaric gems away and collect some just demonic wills and use that to put in there. Um, and we made a glass lens through this process, through the luminous crafting table um, and through, you know, making a mirrored glass first. So we got all that going on, and uh, so I was just filling up my uh, altar here. I've got a sacrificial dagger, and uh, one of the nice things is, is my personal beacon puts uh, saturation on me, so I can basically just wail on myself and send blood in there like crazy, but uh, because I have saturation, um, I just heal up, so it ain't no thing. So boom, it's full. So that's all cool. Um, I made some arcane ashes used to draw alchemy circles. I don't know what that is yet, but I made one. Um, I've got a thomium sword ready because uh, I think one of the things we're going to be making is a dagger of sacrificing. Uh, yeah, so that's for like sacrificing mobs, like cows and whatnot. And so... Um, we could do that. And um, what else are we going to do now? Tier 2. So blank runes. We need to make some blank runes. And for that we need blank slates. And slates are living rocks on the blood altar tier 1. Okay, so is that just a throw in the throw in the water kind of thing? Let's find out. So let's go living rock. Okay, I've got plenty of that. That's good. Let's see. Let's try throwing it in and see what happens. Nada. Okay, if I right click to place it, it looks like it's doing something. Hey, hey, we got something. What do I need an empty hand to unget it? Yeah, so an empty hand, right click, we'll get it out. So let's make a few of these. Get an empty hand available to pull them off.
And let's double check and see what we needed for that uh, Elven Gateway controller. Because I would sort of like to go back and uh, see what's going on there. Was it a blank slate or did we need to actually do something with it? Uh, let's go at Tanya Elven, Elven Gateway Core. Oh, and for that, what we really need is to upgrade our Starlight Craft, upgrade our whatever that is to a Starlight Crafting uh, thing, and that needs a reinforced slate. So that requires Tier 2, so it's a blank slate dumped into a Tier 2 altar. So we need to get to a Tier 2 altar. So we need to figure out what we need to do to upgrade this bad boy to Tier 2. So I'm going to bleed a little. that filled back up while I'm thinking about it. And then let's open up our Sanguine Scientium. The Blood Altar. All right. Um, well, reading this is not particularly informative. <laughs> All right, so I guess we're starting on page two. Um, it's for crafting. We're filling up a blood orb, which I don't know what that is yet, but whatever. Monsters, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Lots of blank pages. Life points, we got that down. Right click on the item, right click an item on there. Done. We figured that out. Okay. There are actually a total of three tanks in the format here. <laughs> the main tank, um, an input tank. All right. Well, so far I'm not loving this manual. Um, let's see. Let's go all the way out to the top. And see if it says upgrading your altar. That sounds promising. Shaped crafting, blank slates, and a blood orb, and stone. I should go through the module, slowly learn that, to, that the humble blood altar before you is not powerful enough. Surprise, etc., etc. To upgrade the altar to its second tier, you need to place eight blood runes around the altar and one level lower. All right, so we need to raise this up a, a notch and then put eight blood runes around it. I can do that. What's a blood rune? <laughs> yeah, blood, blood. Blood rune. Some blood tanks. I wonder if blood rune is sort of a, uh, that must be a generic term and we need to put eight of these guys around it. Um, Let's open this bad boy back up, see if it says more. Eight blood runes, yada yada, although the blank rune is fine for simply getting your upgrade. Okay, it is advantageous to use upgrade runes for your altar. Let's 
So in tier two, you cannot use the corner runes as upgrade runes. All right, so that means we could make four runes that are fancy. Not too worried about that yet. So speed rune. Makes the crafting faster. That always sounds fun. Alright, so what do we got here? We got a speed rune, an efficiency rune, self-sacrifice. That makes me think maybe you get more benefit out of cutting yourself. One of the reasons I've always avoided this is it just seems a little icky. <laughs> I'm not a blood magic kind of guy. But whatever. Alright, so let's see what the uh, quest manual has us make. Because that's what I'm really worried about here is uh, bashing through things. And they want us to make... Probably pretty much any of these, any eight of these. So let's try. Um, yeah, let's just try speed runes. What do we need for that? A couple blank slates, some stone brunt, cake. I do have some cake, but I should probably make some less expensive cake. I've got red velvet cake, but I could make some just generic cake. Okay, and the rest of these just require various other stuff. So, blank slates, blank runes, stone brunt, and cake. And the blank runes require slates. Alright, looks like the first thing we need to do is... What did we just make? We just made five blank slates. So we need to make some blank runes. And it looks like we to do that we need um, to make a weak blood orb. Let's take a look at that. Orb. Weak. Apprentice, etc., etc. Just trying to see what we got here. Uh, we certainly don't want to be destroying some of this last stuff. So, yeah, mana diamonds it is. So, let's see if we have some mana diamonds. Yes, we do. So let's say we probably need, what, at least eight of those. Yeah, I definitely think we could use some speed upgrades on this. Karamba. Picking it up with a uh, empty hand thing can be annoying, but hey, whatever. We will work it out. Do these stack? No, they do not. All right. Well, we'll make one more and see what we're gonna do with it. All right, so we want to create
craft. Um, how many of these do we need? We're going to need four of them for the quarters. And then if we want to make speed runes, we're going to need another eight of them. So we need 12 of them. means we need a lot more of the blank slates as well. I'll tell you what, this is probably fairly boring to, to watch. We've now seen that, hey, Grimweird can cut himself, or cut poor zombie Steve, uh, and we've seen how this works. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make all the stuff we need to get to Tier 2, and then I will come back and we will get our Tier 2 thing going and uh, see if we have time for anything else. Be right back. All right, so I have made a bunch of stuff. Not quite done yet, but uh, I thought I'd come over here. It's nice because I have um, the cooking for blockhead stuff done, um, and I got plenty of uh, uh, cows in a jar for milk. So I just came over and bashed out four of the cheap cakes. So now we're gonna. I think I'm a few pieces short from the blood altar, but we need to make some. Speed runes. Yeah, so I'm going to need another um, two, four, six, seven of these. How much stone brunt do I have? Or stone burnt? Okay, I got plenty of that. And I don't want to use that. So basically, I need seven more blank slates. So let's. Head on back out here. got quest credit already for this because um, I made eight of the blank runes which is what I needed to get credit uh, but we're gonna take four of those and turn them into speed runes that's why I'm continuing to craft here throw a little bit more blood in there All right, so do we have enough? Oh, I need one more, I think. All righty, that should be about it. So, cake and the blank rune. There we go. And I'm going to need another four runes, blank runes as well. Which means I'm going to need one more weak orb. Which means I'm going to need four more blank slates. Well, I tell you what, I'm already getting sick of this blood magic stuff. I've got to figure out if there's a way to automate this garbage. Alright, well I'm going to pause here because i got more stuff to do and more cutting of myself. Not a big fan of the whole cutting of myself thing, even though it's easy. I don't know, this thing just gives, it's just, eh, blood magic, bleh. Whatever, I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so that little unpleasant bit of work is done. Um, so that all took, you know, roughly 32 living rock and a whole bunch of blood and yada yada. Um, but... I think I now have four speed runes and four blank runes. And is that it? Are we tier two?
Ready your altar. You need to place eight blood runes around the altar and one level lower, which I think we just did. How you tell if it's tier two? I mouse over it; it still says just blood altar. Um, I guess we could try and figure out what that inspectus inspector, which I'm a jigger is. Oh yeah, this thing. So it wants us to throw a book in there. We got books, I think. So, how do we use this bad boy? Current tiers, tier one. I am right clicking. I am shift right clicking. The next tier of blood altar is missing a solid block at Minus 2092, 85, minus 1263. Minus 2092. here what minus 1260 85 is where I am minus 2092 85 Single block here. Say so, what? Uh, it's missing a block at minus twenty ninety two eighty four minus twelve sixty three. So maybe these blocks are supposed to be out here somewhere. I don't know. All right, I'm going to pause. I'm going to go uh, pull up a picture of the Tier 2 one and see what this is supposed to be. When it said eight blocks, I assumed that was the eight blocks right around it. Uh, but maybe it is, you know, eight blocks like here, here, there, around it like that. So I'm going to go check on that and be right back. Okay, I am back in the rain and the thunder and the lightning, which all seems appropriate. Um, and uh, not exactly sure what's going on with why that didn't uh, work. But what I did think was, hey, you know what? We should go ahead and just prepare ourselves for how big this was going to be. So I was cleaning this up and I accidentally vein mined a nice little uh, thing under there. So we got a room under there if we're going to need one, which we may not. Um, but what I've done was I went to the Reddit 9x9 subreddit um, for Direwolf 20's building gadgets um, and I got a pattern for the tier 6 blood altar and I uh, copied it into my, um, you know, jeez, sounded close. 
Uh, I copied that into my buffer and then came back in the game and pasted that into my template generator uh, or template storage thingy and then loaded that onto my copy paste gadget. And so what we have here is, let's see, we got to figure out which corner I'm anchored on here. Okay, so I'm anchored on this corner. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, whip out an altar. Um, hmm. Not sure I'm actually going to have enough space here. Let's see, when do I hit my tower? Okay, so if I come out from my tower a bit, the hardest part of these is when you have these big structures and they're anchored, uh, the uh, projection is anchored by the corner. It's just getting things lined up where you want them. Maybe if I get airborne, it'll be a little easier. What kind of reach do I have here? All right, so that helps a little. Gosh, this is a big beast. So something right about like that. Let's go down and see what it looks like. So what this has done is it has used cobblestone from my um, cobblestone and stone bricks from and dirt from my um, inventory where I had it. Um, and it has used construction block to uh, just sort of make out of construction paste because I've got a canister of paste here. Um, the stuff that it can't do. I did have four real glowstone on me for lighting. These guys aren't digging it. I'm getting sick of them kibitzing. Alright, so we've got this. I'm not sure we still have enough room for our, our biggest um, altar here, but I can always blow this wall out. Um, so we should be fine. Yeah, this should be okay. It's a little closer to my tower than I like, but you know, what the heck. Um, so, yeah, so what we're going to do is we're going to, I think I set my blood altar to, yeah, here it is. And I've got some runes in there as well. So now this guy... Actually, the first thing we should probably do is just make sure we've got lighting in here. I'm going to go ahead and leave this hollow for now because we may want to do some sort of automation. I was thinking about automation and did a little quick looking around for automation. Let's turn on my light meter and see what we're looking at here. Doink, 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 doink. Um, and we might want to do some stuff under here. We might want to have a, a mob farm under here um, for sacrificing. We might want to uh, put some automation in for um, for hoppering uh, products out of the blood altar down below. So we're going to go ahead and leave that empty for a moment. And if I need to, I'll create a tunnel to it. Get this out of my hand so I don't superimpose anything. Um, we're going to slap down the blood altar. Alright, and now these are all construction blocks so we're going to break these. And that should be where I can put I have four blink runes, four blink runes, and four speed runes. 
and so we'll do that. It says we can't use the corners, so we won't use the corners. All right. And it is still up oh, there it goes. Current tier two. Very nice. Um, I think it's giving me more information because I have a divination sigil on me or something. I don't know. But uh, it does now say tier two. So we are good to go. Um, go ahead and get some blood in that sucker. So what do we need to do next? Um, I'm going to throw down some torches here. more torches all right good enough a little more blood whoops I've already lost track of how many times I've placed my uh, sacrificial dagger on in the damn blood bank, but okay. Um, Alright, so that's good to go. And now just for curiosity to see what it's like with the uh, with the uh, speed runes. Eh, looks a little faster. All right, cool, cool, cool. So we have things. Slap a few more torches around here. Have any other holes or lighting problems inside my perimeter? There's a hole I should probably take care of. Alright, so now we have our roughed out um, blood altar. Um, and we're centered up, which is cool. We're a little close to the tower here, but that's fine. A little close to those trees, but I'll probably cut those down anyway. Might not quite have enough room now for the highest tier of of our starlight stuff, but we can blow this wall out another several real easy. Uh, I think we're in business. So now what I'll do is um, basically whenever we upgrade it, I can get rid of the if you can see by the tooltip up in the top middle, this is a construction block, not a real blood rune. So as I start uh, doing this, it'll be much easier now because I can just uh, chop out the uh, construction blocks and get the paste back and put in the real things, the real blank runes and or other types of runes. So again, that feels a bit like cheating, but, um, you know, that's what... Uh, what an expert mod pack is all about is using all of these tools and doing things faster and more efficient and more automated and etc etc so i do have to look into one of the reasons i went ahead and um, raised this up also and wanted to get a final structure in place is that i do think i definitely uh, i can't stand the thought of just standing here doing these no matter how fast it gets 
so I'm going to have to uh, try and set up some automation here. Uh, so we might be able to do something with some uh, droppers or hoppers or something, uh, both feeding into the top and coming out through the bottom. Uh, those RF tools timers are probably going to be pretty good, so I can set it up to only, only move stuff. Um, you know, after a certain time period, um, and we might um, have a tunnel to under there, uh, and actually put some mob spawning down there um, to see if we can uh, generate some blood going into this. Um, so yeah, I think uh, I think we're in business. So let's take a look at the book. Sorry, I got lost in thought there for a moment. Let's take a look at the book and uh, okay, so we can claim for the divination sigil, the seer's sigil, sight reagent, divination, two glass, and some glowstone. Let's go make that bad boy. So two glass, glowstone, and we've got a divination signal or, or divination sigil. Um, let's see. What is it I'm trying to make here? Sears sigil. Okay. Let's see. So first we're making sight reagent. Throw that up there. Back up, throw that up there. Hit A and get those up there. Uh, we can probably hit A and take that and that and that off since we've made that. Throw that up there because we're going to need to make that in a moment. Um, so yeah, this. And how much? It's a minimum of 64 will. We've got 64 will, so we should be able to do this. Yeehaw! So some of that and some of that. And some of that and where did I stick my will here it is off we go so we got that bad boy and let's take a look at the next one so now we want we need a reinforced slate, which we can supposedly do now by putting a blank slate into the tier two. Do I have a blank slate? I do. Hooray. I'm glad we put the four speed in. I wish we'd have put about 50 speed in. <laughs> All right, there we go. So this is doing the arcane ashes thing. So that is an interesting little thing. So we put, uh, where did I put it? Here it is. Arcane Ashes, we click that, right click that on the ground and it makes its own little like uh, chalk um, sigil there that acts like a little crafting table and then we click that on it, Sight Reagent. Now if we mouse over it you can see up top it says Reagent, Sight Reagent. And then we're going to take our Reinforced Rune or a reinforced slate, whatever it was, 
and it goes all loop-de-loop. -loop. This is actually a pretty cool graphic. I dig it. And then it turns into a seer sig sigil. Yay, another thing down. A stronger, more in-depth divination sigil. Sweet. So now... Yeah, when we mouse over there, it's giving us even more information. So before, without any sigil, let me actually see if we can... I want to see what it feels like without anything. So if we do that... So without any sigil in our inventory, all it, it doesn't tell us what tier it is, it doesn't tell us much of anything, it basically just tells us life essence. And then with the divination one... It told us a few more things, like its tier and whatnot. But now, with this just in our inventory, we don't have to use it or anything. Uh, the current capacity and current essence is sort of redundant with the life essence above it, I guess. Unless there, that changes when you add more things to it. I think you can add tanks and batteries and all sorts of other weird stuff. Um, current charge, current progress. All right, well, whatever. We got one now, so that's cool. Got a few loot chests. Another benevolent goddess charm. And another framing table. So we will throw those away. We're into our ME system. And we'll put away our copy-paste tool and our paste canister. And this is probably a good place to stop this episode. I've lost track of how much time we've spent here, but uh, things have progressed. Uh, we have made it a ways into blood magic. We have the tier 1 and the tier 2 and we've got a rough outline of 3, 4, 5, and 6 uh, to form as a, as just sort of a template for us. Um, we've made a small dent in the chapter. And we've made a reasonably large dent in the chapter um, so we're doing okay here. What do we got coming up? Um, imbued Slate. I think that's probably tier three, so we can't quite make that yet. Um, not sure if there's any reason not to press on towards the uh, tier three. We just made some reinforced slates, so I can make the apprentice uh, blood orb. That's easy. Ooh, is that easy? Hold the fort. Oh, Victus Fizz Crystal. Cool. I thought that was a uh, Mystic Agriculture Infusion Crystal for a moment. I thought, hey, wait a minute. Throwing a Infusion Crystal for Mystic Agriculture in there is not what I'm planning on wanting to do. Uh, but yeah, we got one of those where we can get one real easy. Um, let's take a look at uh, the recipes for what the rest of these orbs look like. If it'll let us. Thaumium block, we can do that. Weak blood shard. Gaia spirit. Alright, so things do get a little funky up there, but we should be able to at least do um, the tier 2, the tier 3. Yeah, I don't know what the heck that is. It's not letting us click on it, so we'll have to figure that out. And for the slate, um, we know we can make reinforced. We just made that. And so we'll be able to get the tier 3 and the tier 4 probably pretty easy. So yeah, I think that's what we're going to do, is we're just going to keep pushing towards... Uh, bashing out everything we can here, upgrading our um, blood magic altar as much as possible. Um, for tier 3, we've got us, we just need to make 20 blank runes. 
what's that look like? Well, there's five per side here, and there's four sides, so that 20 is going to represent uh, this row here, which makes a certain amount of sense. This circle here. So as soon as we make those, we are ready to roll. That ain't so hard. Yeah. Alrighty. So we'll just push on through all of this. I'm uh, going to call it an episode, and uh, I might work a little bit on some of this, maybe try and get Tier 3 done between this episode and next, and then we will... Um, one thing i got to do is i got to change all this cobblestone out for something more um, decorative. But uh, just like the, we have that good copy-paste tool, there's also an exchange tool that will allow me to exchange all of this, so that'll be pretty quick. I just need to decide what I want to do there. Do I want to do marble to make it look vaguely sorcery, astral sorcery-like, and to fit with our tower? I think I will try and make it fit a bit more with our tower. Um, maybe do this in marble. Um, and the pillars as marble pillars. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to work on that kind of stuff, and I will talk to you again next time. Bye.